All right, well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to day number two of our seven days of prayer that we're doing as a church together. Uh, I'm going to go and invite everyone to go ahead and stand up with me. Uh, and one of the things that, that we've been talking about, and if you were here last night, you heard Pastor Ken when he kind of kicked off the week, was he reminded us, where does this whole idea of seven days of prayer even come from? And it's the book of Joshua, where Joshua and the Israelites, they, they walked around Jericho for seven days in a row, doing the exact same thing, asking God to do something that they themselves would never be able to do all by themselves. And that's what we're doing as a church is for seven days just gathering and asking God to perform miracles in our lives. And for a lot of us, you might have been bringing in something different. It might be something exciting. It might be something hard. But really what we do in these prayer services is there's a couple songs we're going to sing together. And then there's going to be about 10 minutes of time for you to pray by yourself. And some of the things that we encourage you to do is just take whatever posture you want during that time. Uh, for some people, you may just wanna sit down in your seat. Others, you may wanna come up to the front. Some people may wanna pace in the back. Just do whatever you want. Uh, and then one of our campus pastors today, it's gonna be Pastor Jody, our London campus pastor, and one of our next gen leaders are gonna come lead us in a time of corporate prayer before we sing one more song together. Now, before we jump into this, uh, I wanna encourage you with something. And this is one of my favorite verses uh, on prayer that I, I, I always go back to. And it's in 1 John. So John was writing letters to different people, trying to encourage them and explain to them what it really meant to be a Christian. And he was writing to this group of new believers. And it's the way he ended his first letter. In 1 John chapter 5, he said, I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may have eternal life. And then he gives them a promise. He says, and we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. Our God is not a distant God. You did not walk into this room by yourself, whether you're online or you're here in the room, God hears you. He sees you, he knows what you're walking through. You're in the presence of God, you're with the people of God. And what we're gonna do on day two is continue to lift these things to him. So Father, that is our prayer today, that that same promise would be true in our lives right now. We thank you for the fact that you are God who sees us, who knows us, who loves us. And God, we lift these requests to you. We ask you to not just change our circumstances, but to change us. We love you, Lord, we praise you, and we pray this all in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen. They're singing at the ancient gates. There's a melody of ceaseless praise, age to age. The sound is only growing stronger. There's a throne beneath the name of names. They're seated on it, one who reigns, and his kingdom now is here. So praise him like we're there in glory. Here and now he's just as holy. Jesus, he's so worthy of it all. He exists in everlasting life. So on heaven's streets there is no night.
spoken to the voice, the breath that brought the dust to life, and sang the stars to fall, the darkness fears your voice, that drove it back before. drive it back once more one word from you things change on your authority your word it's true things change on your
slave to the darkness if it wasn't for the cross you have won me with your kindness chase me I'm going to have you guys stand as we prepare to, to pray together. I've invited Colby Thoman, uh, one of our students in London, and when uh, we talked about this event, about tonight, having a student lead. Um, Colby ta- just popped in my head as someone who uh, I've just watched kind of grow, uh, and I know this summer at NTS camp he responded to potentially a call to, to ministry, and so I thought this would be an opportunity to I uh, really, really believe in the next generation. I know that there are some people out there that think the church is in trouble. But when I see our students, when I see especially students like Colby, um, I know history says that the church is going to be fine. Uh, but more than history is our current reality. And, and I know that the church is going to be more than fine. Uh, as I get older, I know that, that when I prepare to hand off to the next generation, it will be people like Colby that will continue to lead God's church in incredible places. So I've asked Colby to pray. So if you guys would pray with us. Dear Lord, I pray that with this upcoming school year and all the teachers and students have a great start to the school year. Help the teachers to use their skills to teach the students and encourage them in their walk toward their future careers. Help the students to pay attention in class so they may may get the most out of their classes. And help the teachers to be patient and understanding for the students. And just thank you for everything you've already done through these school systems. And God, we're grateful for uh, our communities, our leaders, got our, our, our local government leaders that uh, that spend tireless hours, and, and God, we know that um, they have a hard work, and they, there is authority given to them, and that authority comes from you. So God, I pray that you would, for those that are believers, those that, that lead our communities, that lead our governments, that those that are believers, God, you would continue to use them to change the world around them. God, you would guide them, you would give them wisdom, you would give them patience. And God, for those that aren't even aware of who you are, God, I know that you will still use them because you are stronger than they are. God, your your will is stronger than their will. God, we just pray that uh, they be worth following. And God, even when they're not, God, that we would respect them and honor them just as you've asked us to. God, I pray for our our local law enforcement and firefighters, those that that lead our community in that way, that you would keep them safe. God, you would allow them to uh, really, really understand what their mission is and what you've called them to do. Uh, and it is to uh, to keep people safe, to serve so many people who are underserved. And God, we're just so grateful for them. And God, again, we just ask a hedge of protection around them. And God, just like Colby prayed for, for our, our schools, God, we know that there are so many people that are called to lead some of our most uh, precious gifts, our, our children. And God, I just pray for those those teachers, uh, those, those school staff members, the the school district uh, superintendents and different people that are just in charge of what happens inside of those walls. When we send our kids to school for hours a day, and God, I pray that you would just allow um, those teachers to provide a a safe space for them, their their physical safety, their emotional safety. And God, again, for the believers that are teachers, God, a, a spiritual safety for them, that you would use those teachers to change the world around them. God, the, 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 the most precious part of the world that we consider just our children. And God, I pray for our children as they uh, are, are going back to school, some this week, some next week, that you would uh, you would cause their, their anxiousness to lower 
and they would find their hope in you and their faith in you and and God, that their light would shine so bright in the darkest places of the schools and in the darkest places of our communities that uh, these students would, would shine their light and would shine your light because we know that, that you, are, you are bright and you are for us and you are not against us. And God, we just pray that you just bless those that seek your face. God, that the people that call on your name. God, that tonight there is a room full of people and there are people online that are calling on your name to do something that only you can do. So God, for these seven days, we're asking you to do what only you can do. God, our, our responsibility is to show up and to pray. And that's challenging, God, but that is so, so easy. But now, God, we ask you to do what only you can do. What you're already doing, what you've yet to do, God, continue to do that and allow us to see our part. God, allow us to know that, that you are for us and you have a purpose for us. God, continue to use us in very, very special ways. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. to those who run to him who place their hope and confidence in Jesus he won't forsake them and blessed are those who seek his face who bend their knee and fix their gaze on Jesus they won't be shaken come on and pray Sing if you love his name. Come on and lift your voice with me. He's worthy of all our praise. Blessed are those who walk with him, whose hearts are set.
Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Have a great rest of your evening.